Hello, I'm Heidi James, and I'm going to read a short extract from my novel, The Sound Mirror. Holding hands, they dig their toes into the pebbles and climb up the bank. The shingle shifts, tips, and rolls under them, inching them back as they struggle forward. At the top, they turn to see the others in miniature, still sat behind the stripy windbreak in their deck chairs drinking tea. The sea has been dragged out, as if trapped by its own tide. Today has been a brilliant day. Ice cream, mummy is there, songs in the car, legs sticky on the hot back seat. Sandwiches and flask of tea, bottle of squash already made up. Bikini for mummy, swimsuit for her, nan and grandad. Still holding hands, they walk towards a huge bowl that's standing up on its side. It's not shiny, but it's a mirror, the mother says. A mirror to capture sound, like a net for fish. Her mother lifts her onto her shoulders and tells her to listen. What can she hear? Everything, she says. Yes, says her mother. A whole world of noises comes across the sea and is caught by the sound mirror. Can you hear them? Can you hear them speaking in French? In Punjabi? Italian? They giggle. Can you hear elephants rumbling, mice squeaking? Her mother puts her down, sends her 20, 30, two more steps away. Whisper a secret and we'll see what we can hear. She does. Her mother gasps and her mouth pretends a shocked O. Oh. Running to her, she picks her up, swings her around. The marum grass slices at ankles. Her mother's fingers press hard against her ribs, almost tickling. The sound mirror reflects Nana calling for them to come back. They hide, crouch in the grass, fingers over grinning lips. A seagull with stiff yellow legs watches them, its head cocked to one side. Nana huffs over the hill. There you are. Come on. We're going for fish and chips. She runs to her Nana, takes her hand, leaves her mother behind. We found a mirror, Nana. It keeps secrets. So you did. Bloody useless ugly things. About time they pulled those down.